All right, this is fourth grade, module five, lesson 41, the last lesson in this very long module. Uh, in this lesson, students are going to be finding and using patterns to calculate the sum of all the fractional parts between zero and one. Basically, this is a really famous problem. Uh, oftentimes, it's attributed to Carl Friedrich Gauss. Back in the olden days, the very famous story about Gauss, G-A-U-S-S, -S. man, look it up. It's a great story about how he, as a young child, uh, the legend has it, found a trick for adding up all of the consecutive numbers from like one to a hundred or one to a thousand. And this lesson is kind of like that. Uh, so parents and teachers, if, if your students are really struggling with this lesson, it's all right. It's not a foundational lesson for future modules. Uh, it's just a really neat opportunity for students to look for patterns, uh, feel really good when they find a pattern, and uh, just appreciate, I guess, a little bit of the beauty of math. So let's get started. So it says find the sums. And basically what we're going to do is, uh, parents and teachers, what you can do is you could guide your students towards looking for the fractional pairs that equal one whole. For example, zero fifths plus one, uh, five fifths, that's equal to one whole. And then one fifth plus four fifths, that's equal to one whole. And then two fifths plus three fifths, that's equal to one whole. So this answer is three. So when you see that there's six fractions, the answer is three. Because uh, they're six, even though they're fifths, because we started at zero fifths, right? And so here, let's practice again. Let's look for all the fractional pairs that equal one whole. Well, there's a whole. One sixth plus five sixths is a whole. Two sixths plus four sixths is a whole. And uh oh, we have but one half left over. So the answer is three and a half. Here. Three and a half. So when there are seven fractions, the answer is three and a half. When there were six fractions, the answer is three. Well, let's see what happens when we add up the ninths. So again, let's see. Oh, I'll do it in black. So zero ninths plus nine ninths, that's one. One ninth plus eight ninths, that's one. 2 ninths plus 7 ninths, that's 1. 3 ninths plus 6 ninths, that's 1. And finally, 4 ninths plus 5 ninths, that's 1. So what did we get? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so when there were 10 fractions, we got the answer of 5. And lastly, oh, let's do it in green because we can. Let, no, let's do it in purple, even better. So, 0 tenths plus 10 tenths, that's 1. 1 tenth plus 9 tenths, that's 1. 2 tenths plus 8 tenths, that's 1. 3 tenths plus 7 tenths, that's 1. 4 tenths plus 6 tenths, that's 1. Plus, we have 1 half left over. So we ended up getting the answer of five and one half. So when there were 11 fractions being added together, we ended up getting the answer of five and a half. So let's think about this. This answer was three. This answer was three and a half. This answer was what was the answer? Uh, five. And this answer was five and a half. So when there were six fractions, the answer was three. When there were seven fractions, the answer was three and a half. When there were ten fractions, the answer is five. And when there's 11 fractions, the answer is five and a half. So parents and teachers, pause. Let your students look at the connections and see if they can figure out, well, what's the pattern? What is going on here? 
And at this point, I'm going to assume that you have already talked about it and you know that the pattern is whatever number of fractions there are, you take that number and divide by two. So in this case, way over here, there's 36 fractions. Yeah, yeah, I know it says 35, right? But because the first fraction is a zero, 30 fifths, means there's really 36 fractions. We take 36, we divide by two, we get 18. So we know that that answer is 18. Here we have 21 fractions. So we take 21, we divide by two, and we end up with 10 and a half. So if we were to add all those fractions, we'd get 10 and a half. If we were to add all these fractions, we would get 18. Beautiful and simple little pattern. And that wraps up fourth grade module five, lesson 41, where we were hunting for patterns and using that pattern to add big long strings of fractions.